Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude, and welcome back to another figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Roar Striker Scorpio Venetonator. Now, this guy is pretty interesting. It's yet another Abelosaurid from the Jurassic lineup. We've gotten like six already released, which is completely crazy. Um, this guy, of course, is unique, like all of the Abelosaurs, they're in the Carnotaur family. Um, this one has some interesting scale patterns going down its back. They're very much reminiscent of something you'd see in like a fish. Um, and these armor scales right here are pretty, uh, they pop out, they're nice. Um, it's got more of that sleek appearance with them, but it's got a bulldog-like head. Um, <laughs> look at that, so cute. They're almost pug-like. Um, it's definitely very pushed in. It's got the basic chomping that most of these figures have in the electronic assortment, and these very tiny arms as well. Um, the shoulder blade actually is very prominent in this one. You can see it overlapping the ribs there. Um, and the colors are really nice. They stand out. Um, I like the color combo with this one. The whites are actually pink. They're just very light pink um, from what I see. So we'll take a closer look at that in a sec. You can see the rest in the lineup. We'll compare them in a sec. Um, and then, the, yeah, the cute little chomping action it has is pretty nice. And it's pretty fluid with that. Um, I think this one's held in by its feet, but we'll grab its tail. There's the tail. Um, we're going to have to do some box surgery. I'll try not to damage the box too much, but um, this usually does not go well. <laughs> and I'm loving the new box design. They've got some really nice renders on them. So yeah, let's see if I can, I might be able to, no. So you can see in there, there's just these little things after rotate. We'll cut this part too. There we go. So let's see if we can sort of get a hand on this. It's got very small um, protective thingamabobbers. I would have preferred the classic um, method of just holding them in with the um, the elastics, but um, I don't know why they didn't use this on the aloe. Okay, so box removed. Yeet it off to the side and put the tail in with a nice pop, rotate it. Oh, it's actually pretty, it's decently long. Um, that's surprising. And I like the overall shape of the body. Um, it's very nice. So it's kind of slanted a little down. I don't know if we can, can have it face up, but it's always at a somewhat down angle. Um, ready to chomp on some human figures. And the action feature itself is, Pretty fun, it's just pressing down on the back. So we'll grab the scan code too. For all you guys that play the scan code fax up game. And yeah, no, this is a unique Abelosaurid with the, uh, the scales running down from the start of the back all the way to the tail. I really like that, it makes it stand out from the rest Besides that very bulbous head, it has these big spikes going down the neck, um, three rows of those, and these scaly armor plates on the leg and the back. Um, here we have the uh, Rugops, which is another Abelosaur. Got the tiny arms going on. Now it's interesting, this one only has three, where this guy has... Oh, I think it also has three. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, usually they, they have four, but yeah, two abelosaurs in one 
um, lineup pretty neat. Um, the neck doesn't have as much range as the uh, the Rugop's neck, but this lineup in particular is very colorful. Um, it's like a mix of dark colors, but they're they're like the lighter of the dark colors, um, which is pretty nice. So this definitely makes for a iconic lineup of dinosaurs. We've got two redecos of the herbivores and then two new um, carnivorous species to add to the collection. So yeah, no, um, this is definitely my favorite from this assortment because it is so unique and the colors are very fun on it. Um, I enjoy the style and the details um, out of all of them because <laughs> herbivores are just kind of boring and the Ragosaurus, um, yeah, I like the eye and I like the colors but it's, it's not as popping as the uh, Scorpio. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review and make sure to check out the rest of them. I'll be releasing a lot more in the future as well, so make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all then. Bye bye.